I thought it was a very productive visit to the Ukraine. I had a chance to watch a couple basketball games, uh, watch the practice with a young team, uh, met the coaches, some of the people that will be working with us, had a chance to get a feel for the city. And uh, now I have about a month to go back and uh, help prepare everything and getting ready for our first day of practice and the long journey into the European Championships. Yeah, uh... We talked a little bit about how we begin the practices because the beginning is so important to setting the tone for the rest of the training camp. We talked uh, a couple things strategy-wise, basketball-wise, and tried to get an idea from them uh, what their thoughts were as they enter into it. Uh, told them that if I can contribute anything and help them, I'm more than happy to. I'm going to watch practices when I come back, you know, before they eventually take off and go into their tournament. Uh, and an idea that we're part of a team together. One may be the 25 and under team, one may be the national team, but we're still uh, in the same program. We're part of the same family, uh, and we should be trying to help each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, we have to finalize our staff, which we have in mind uh, who we would like to get, but we have to wait for this NBA ruling to, to finish. And once we get the answer, which should be this week, uh, then I can go forward and say, would you like to come, would you like to come, and finish it like that. And then I'll have meetings with them over there, and we'll talk, and then get ready to come back. Yeah, and team. The idea was to show me which players on both teams were candidates for the national team. So we had, I think, three off of each team that, you know, potential candidates. And it gave me a feel, an idea of, you know, what they can do. That was just one game. I understand that. Uh, but it's better than nothing. I had no idea before uh, of what the the talents were of those players. So now I get a chance to see them in a game, in a very competitive game, uh, to see who fights hard and you know who helps his team win. And now they have to come to camp and compete against the other people in camp to make the team and get playing time on the team. Okay, thank okay. you. You're welcome. The was actually more. There was a night and evening. There was a very interesting person. He was very interesting. He was very interesting. И про свою работу, и очень интересные вещи рассказывают про баскетбол. Я думаю, что многое откроется еще и в работе с ним. И, конечно, заслуг много. Один из самых влиятельных тренеров NBA. И я думаю, что с ним будет очень интересно работать. Уже когда увидим команду, какие решения мы будем принимать, какую защиту мы будем играть, какую тактику мы будем выбирать, и все, он будет принимать решение, когда выйдет уже непосредственно игроков. На, на сборах, на первых сборах мы будем пробовать разные варианты защиты нападения и посмотрим, что лучше. Мы будем совещаться, мы уже об это обговорили сейчас, будем совещаться, что для нас лучше, как мы будем играть. Он в курсе всех игроков, все сведения у него есть, очень много сведений, и для него вопросов по игрокам, в принципе, никаких нет, он всех достаточно хорошо знает. Уже слова, я вспоминаю знакомые, очень сленговый, сленговый язык у него, баскетбольный язык, как говорят тренера в NBA, очень приятно вспоминать такие слова, и мне кажется, что, э, в принципе, система одна и похожая, но Майк очень знает много тонкостей. Уже за три дня общения с ним я уже видел, что он обращает очень много внимания на мелочи, и в этих мелочах он разбирается. Mm -hmm.